I'd love to be. Hello. I want to play a delightful hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your next closing now. That would be great, actually. Mm. A delightful <laughs> hot mess. I've never heard that description. I really like it. Now I think the jig's up for Wallace Avery. This once promising amateur can't handle the big time, and I hear he can't get his life together either. Hello there, April. You know what's so sad about it? He was kind of great once. Arthur. I'm Arthur J. Newman. Hey, I'm Arthur Newman. I'm Arthur Newman. Hey there, it's Arthur Newman. Arthur, what's your story? I'm a golf pro. You're no Tiger Woods. I saw the film last night, you guys. Uh, I, I was blown away by it. There were so many unexpected kind of plot twists and turns that I didn't really see coming. I mean, for one, you start out a delightful hot mess in this, yep. you know, arrested situation, and I loved the, the Russian escort sort of simulation scene. When you guys first got together, what was the biggest surprise you maybe learned about one another? <laughs> I'd love to be, I, I want to play a delightful hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> That'll Is that be your option next option closing role? now? That would be great, actually. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in With the back the of a cop car. <laughs> a delightful hot mess. I've never heard that description. I really like it. I think uh, Emily's one of the least neurotic actors <laughs> that I've ever worked with. We are, we're, I mean, we probably have to be a bit neurotic. And, but, um, <laughs> in what way? What, in what way do we have to be? No, we in are, what way is she not neurotic? Well, Wait. she probably is, but she just hides it. <laughs> I'm really person. not. <laughs> When you're neurotic, basically, you, the, the fear of everything um, means that you kind of, in, a good idea comes along, you interrogate it, you're not sure, you, you weigh up your options, you are frightened to try things out, and I, didn't, I never felt that from her. I felt it was just, everything was worth a try. You weren't you know? neurotic either, though, at all. Um, I sort of leave it at home. You have to ask my family about that. Really? Yeah. Oh, God, you mm. poor Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> She gets it. I, I feel like with your characters, though, usually people are quite. I mean, you guys are obviously quite opposite from the characters you played in this in this film. How is he not neurotic, maybe to you? Or what were you surprised to learn about Colin when you started working together? I mean, really, I think that. You know, I think both of us had to take quite a risk playing these, these roles. roles. You know, and it's quite intimidating for us to take on American accents and all of that stuff. But I feel you like it for the oh, record. good. Didn't hear it at all. I mean, I feel like. I was surprised, firstly, by Colin's ability just to dive in head first and not overthink anything. And I think that, that we worked really well together in that respect. But I think the ability f to have fun, and I just want to have fun on a film set. I don't want to, I, I, I don't like the hierarchy of, um, I don't know, there's a lot of tantrums sometimes. I'm and, sure, you know, yes. I, th I think it was just, a re it was very refreshing because I, I didn't know what to think of him, actually. I didn't really? know what. You were going to be. Like. Well, you, you <laughs> I thought he was going to be, you know, quite serious and actually. Everybody expects me to. I thought be you were going to be very serious, and the yeah, silliness yeah, yeah. that came out of him was rampant, unbelievable. Rampant is a good word. Rampant silly. <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> rampant Rampantly silly. Yeah. Love it. Rampant first. It's Arthur Newman. Arthur, what's your story? I'm a golf pro. You're no Tiger Woods. Where would you like me to take you? Let's check it out. <laughs> Broke into people's houses, wore their clothes, slept in their beds. I'm Arthur Newman, golf pro. Should I call you my wife, my girlfriend, <laughs> or my fiance? Get down here. Oh, that is inappropriate. Take that thing off. You take it off. Your honeymoon. If you now, I have to imagine um, the theme of escapism is probably it rings probably pretty true for you guys. Hollywood, I know, can can sometimes be a bit of a burden, and I'm sure when you go home at the end of the day, you're just happy to kind of shut the door and lead your peaceful life. What is the one aspect about Hollywood that you enjoy escaping from? <laughs> I never leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? Home now I have to force him to come out for yeah. dinner. Yeah. You know. Oh. 
Both or we come round to you. Mm. She's no, really nice. Everyone has to come to me. Everyone has to come to her. Well, he's, he's like a little hermit crab. Then. That's that's fair. I would I would yeah. imagine to a certain extent. Is there something about Hollywood you guys are just happy to escape from at the end of the day? I think the, the profession. Everyone is happy to escape from yeah. their professional world every day. Yeah. I think you want to you want to clock off at the end of the day. Want to check out. Um, it's inter It's important whether you're a you know whether you work in a bank or you're a polar explorer or an astronaut mm. or a policeman or you you disconnected. Did, yeah, mm. you you have to be able to hang up the hat and say I'm home now. Mm. Um, and so sometimes it's hard. There, some people really have a hard time disconnecting. They do. Work. You know, I I I know my dad. You know, comes home and just. My dad's a defense criminal lawyer. Yeah. He sometimes comes home and finds it hard to unwind, you know, because he's got all imagine. these cases that he's defending the scum of the earth most of, of the time. So of course. He comes home and he's still in his head about it all, you know. Well, hopefully your family doesn't have the brunt of that when they no. when he gets home. Oh, no, no. But I think <clears throat> if you're lucky enough to be doing something that involves you emotionally, and that, that is a privilege because not everyone has that right. good fortune, mm -hmm. um, the, the, you know, the complication of that is that it is you don't just cut it off mm. you have to work at cutting it off Absolutely. You know, and uh, but that is just a flip side of, a, of something which I think is a great privilege and uh, it's nice not to have people going mr. Darcy that is nice uh, it's you're nice. still getting that this many years I, got it, I just got it just now oh, of course. you and me both we're both big fans yeah. no, no I don't you time. see no I don't mind that anything it's all currency you know Amen. <laughs> and that's all it's business keeps me employed yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, congrats on this film, you guys. You. It was spectacular. Thank nice to much. meet you. Nice to Thank meet you. you. How could I go home? Let's have the lunch we want. Do you know a woman named Charlotte Fitzgerald? If you walked away from me, baby. You really think you're the only person with someone else's ID? What's the big deal, Wallace? What did you call me? I've had too many hard You know what it's like, don't you? For my Lose what you thought you didn't want. Hey. Spend the rest of your life wanting it back. Arthur Newman world. Mm -hmm.